Good morning, everyone from Tokyo. Um, listen, I have some bad news. Uh, we have to sell the whip. I mean, we have to. We're running really low on money, and sadly, it's not my parents' money, it's my money that I've earned. Um, and I have college coming up. Uh, so, we do need to sell the whip. We have to. But we have four more days left about 10,000 ish yen and I need money for food so we're gonna go there right now so let's go and this is why you should always bring an umbrella uh, which I never do and I buy like four of them uh, but yeah we got the whip we're at a random place right now um, stay tuned Time. Okay guys, so we just sold the bike. They're gonna call me and then we're gonna go back up there and collect the money. Hopefully we get a good appraisal. But for now, today we're gonna go to the place that we sold the bike. Walk around there and see what happens. Yeah, it's like we made it guys. Pretty dope. Welcome to Gotanda. And this is where I sold my bicycle. Well, I'm gonna collect my money soon. Although I don't know when they're gonna call me. Oh yeah, it's a pretty dope area, you know. Central station. Pretty much everything, I guess. Hello everyone, Future Cass here. Um, so my friend, his name was Kaya, he was like, let's go to this maid cafe, it'll be fun. And I was like, this is so expensive. Uh, I usually um, don't go to maid cafes, however, uh, he insisted, there he is right there. And it was actually a pretty fun time. I mean, the maids were really cute. So, um, so the maid cafe was called Welcome Home Cafe, and honestly, it was really fun. So go check it out, it's in Akihabara. And let's get back to the video. Got some family mart chicken. Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're in Shibuya and we're gonna go shopping. We just got some more money coming in from our job. Um, yeah, got a couple bucks. As soon as I sold the DJ, nah, sorry about that. As soon as I sold the bike, I realized I have a job. <laughs> it pays me. Um, yeah, so I'm an idiot. Oh shoot, well check out this. I'm thinking about going to Harajuku or something like that. Something special. I really don't know. So, one piece car game. I'm up in Shibuya. I don't know where to go though. I'm thinking about going to the train or something. Or maybe eat up there. Cafe Gasto. Dude, I'm gonna go try out these buildings, bro. I've never been in these buildings, and I really want to try them out, so. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go there. Traditional outfit on right now. No, no, dude. We're totally uh, messing with the traffic rules. We're just cutting through everything. We got our traditional clothes on. Uh, I don't just wear this to wear it. It's actually just really comfortable. <laughs> Pikachu! Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I love it, bro. I'm gonna go. Watch, watch, watch. Pikachu! I choose you! 
Dude, I love it, bro. <laughs> Dude, Japan is so cool, bro. <laughs> Subarashi! Look at that robot. <laughs> and then there's just a random guy in the Go, 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 go! <laughs> this guy, bruh. This guy. This guy is funny as hell, bruh. Only in Tokyo. And then we have like Mario Kart over here, bruh. This is not real. It's not real. I'm in a different land right now. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I don't know where I am, bro. We're gonna go up to this cafe, bro. Um, never been there before. I've never been in like any of these buildings before. But like, I say we do it. Like, why not? I just need to find that entrance. You know what I'm saying? So like, here's the. You got like a big map. So like, we're like here and. We're gonna go to like here. Train stations right here. Um, you know, different like, you know, I don't know. I, I honestly don't even know. I'm just speaking to speak, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go into like a random stores. Check it out because like I've never done this before. Shibuya, hey. I think it's this way. All right, I'm gonna cut off the video right now because yeah, I can't. So quick update, guys. We're going up on it. Going up um, probably sixth floor or something like that, bruh, and trying out some like cafes. But like, look at this dude, look at this dude here, bruh. What is he doing? Imagine waiting your whole life to be on the Shibuya crossing and you dress like that. It's like a weird dress, bruh. No, I want mine, I want mine like right there, bruh. I'm just like, me. Guys, we're like at like a robot hotel. Dude, there's literally like a robot that does our food. There's like also Okay, so we just got to our brunch and <clears throat> check this out guys. It's a car robot waiter and the waiter comes up in a and it's like a robot. <clears throat> Look at this. Of course I got it in English but and check out our view. I mean, you can't really see it, but we're in Shibuya right now. Pretty dope. And we got all sorts of like menu things here. Pretty cool. And then uh, this little button you press and it calls. And I don't know what this thing does, but I suck at cooking. But we're gonna give it a try anyway. So we have our ordering thing, and everything's expensive. So we we can choose like a course. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with um, the most expensive one because I'm rich, obviously. I'm just kidding, but that's how much you're gonna pay. I don't know what it is, but hey. Someone could translate that. Pot type selection. I don't know. I don't know what the one type is the basic white soup with 110. You can change white soup to your favorite hot pot. Dude, I'm not all about that. I'm just good with this, honestly. Basic Bronto broth. I don't know what to get. What's good? Soy based chicken bone soup. Why does that sound good? Look at this. I'm doing medium spicy. Dude, like, we're hustlers like that. I don't even know what I'm getting, but hey. I don't know what I'm getting, but hey, we, we ball. Alright. <laughs> Drink bar, free refills. Yeah, I guess. This looks expensive, bruh. Alright, let's do it. Send order.
How to use our cat robot waiters. Okay. Okay, so make sure the number and the number is the same. Just use rice chopsticks when you cook raw meat. Dude, I don't know, understand any of this. So. I guess that's how you do it. And then this thing is like our pan. Think of it like as, uh, what is it? Dude, I forgot, but the thing in uh, America, I forgot what it was. You know what I mean? We cook the, the meat on the pot, you know what I'm saying? And I guess we're gonna start this, so I'm gonna get, let you guys go. See ya. You guys, check this out. <laughs> I think that's my meal. I think that's mine. I honestly don't even know. But we got all this kind of thing. And get like drinks. I don't know. I need to get like a drink cup though. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Okay, so we here. The robots bring the meat. And you put them in like broth. Stuff like that. And then you put them in this sauce. And you eat that. Mmm, that's real good. This is how you do it, guys. Literally how you do it. Okay, so you get this. And you're like, yoink. Marinate that, you know. Let's go get some more spices, guys. We're chilling with the robot, you know what I'm saying? We're chilling with that robot. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> Hello there. Do you have my food? Yeah, that's mine, yes. Matase. Arigato. Check this out, guys. Oof. Arigato, Nyan. So cute. He's so cute. Okay, so we're here, guys. Check this out. It's really nice. <laughs> so basically, what you do is you take these, or no, wrong ones. My bad. Uh, the red ones are to pick the raw meat out. So they basically you eat your chopsticks, and then you kind of simmer it around. First, you grab your meat first, obviously. But I had to go. Um, get some more sauces. All these sauces and stuff are like free. So you can get all these, it's like a buffet and have like buffets full of like things. So I ordered like um, two different sauces. I ordered uh, the standard broth and the spicy. I ordered a little bit of cheese to go with it. But yeah, you can get like, oh wow, oh no, my bad. My bad guys. Yeah, see it's so steamy that it just fogged up the camera. But yeah, our view is really nice as well. We're we're in like the top building of Shibuya right now, and Shibuya Crossing. And I'm wearing my traditional clothes right now because it's really really comfortable. So we get we get this right, put it down right here, mix around the sauce, and you could get any um, kind of spices, anything you really need. And kind of mix it around. I, mean, I don't know how many minutes I'm supposed to put this in here for, but I just kind of go with the flow. Mm. Very wishy. And that's, yeah, cool. Come on, Ucha. You know, I'm gonna order some more things. But we have 35 minutes left of pre ordering. I wouldn't say it was free because, I mean, I mean, the bill is pretty expensive, about 4,000 yen. And it's supposed to go with a lot of people, but, you know, I just kind of went with myself because that's how many people are going to Japan, which is me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna order some more food and I'll see you. We got like 
for the steak. I mean, I got some rice as well. And then you can call to, this is like the little thing they got going on, Panasonic. And it's like a, you cook your own food. But right now I just ordered my own, which this is like the menu of what you can do. So if I wanted meat, I click this, I click that, add to cart, view order cart. And since I've already paid, this is all free. You get it, a uh, free amount of beef on amount of time, which is super, super cool and convenient. Um, I'm gonna eat as much as I can in this time frame. Um, but yeah, it's expensive, but I mean, it's really good. And this is really nice. So yeah, I believe our... All right, he's coming back. All right, cool. So, I mean, there's different kinds of meats. You can do from domestic beef, top blade muscle, Ica bicaro pork, or Iberico pork, whatever this is. Standard beef, pork belly, pork sirloin, um, and chicken, which I do not uh, know what to get, to be honest. <clears throat> this is the two soups I got. And for additional charge, Alcohol, whiskey and soda, highball, you know. You know, this is standard. You can get wine, but. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for my food. So we're gonna see. You grab your items from the thing. See, mine's blue. And so cute. I got that. I accidentally just used these as a, I mean, it's whatever. I guess I'll just put this somewhere else. Thank you. And these ones fell on the ground. But then we have, you know, just a little bit of chopsticks, not too much. You know, I, I think this, this might be enough. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah. So we got chilling. Put some more beef on that. Cooking it in broth this time. I think we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna switch out the spicy. And we're gonna go with, I think the Japanese plum. Something different, you know. 29 minutes left. You know damn well we're gonna eat everything on this thing. So we're in Akihabara right now. We just watched our idol show. Uh, today's been a really good day, guys. Uh, we only have about four to like three-ish days left of our trip. We've just been exploring the random parts of Akihabara after this. Um, yeah, great to be here. Like an amazing trip. This has been an amazing experience. Um, but yeah.
あgo back to Harajuku and then we're just gonna go from there they got like a, a big ass Samsung Galaxy uh, building I don't know it's kind of lit though we'll be back at we'll be back at the vlog they got like a gym We're gonna go eat some food, probably some ramen. I don't know. No way, they got young boy. <laughs> they got they got NBA young boy in Japan, bro. That's crazy. This guy, bro, he's everywhere. Not that shit, twin. Dude, crazy. Where are you at? Bro? What is this? Bro, this is lit. Let's go check it out. This is really cool. Nice, wow. What? Damn. This is pretty cool. This is pretty dope. I like it. I got the wizard. Wow, really nice. Alright, so we're gonna go to like a ramen restaurant or something. I don't know. But there's a lot of designer stores around here, but I don't really know. You got like a skate shop, whatever that shop is. Look at that, they got some really nice ramen restaurant, please. Oh, uh, it's actually going crazy. Oh, no way. We got Kermit the Frog, bro. He's actually chilling. Oh, I don't know what this place is. Probably like an American shop or something. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing really over here, so I think I'm just gonna go get some ramen. Looks like we're back at an original location of the first episode, guys. Um, because we're just gonna explore here, and then we're gonna go to Asakusa. So stay tuned for that. Check this out. Oh, look at the koi pond. Oh, that's so cool. It's very koi. It's really nice.
Got the traditional clothes on. Had the rocket because we're going to Azakusa. That'll be fit for it. Um, going to Azakusa with my friend that I just met uh, about four days ago. A German guy. Really cool. Although I think I'm better at karaoke. I'm not gonna lie. No, but check this out, guys. Go back to. Um, I think we're gonna go to Azaksa at like five or six. Are we gonna go back to a hotel and change or something? But, uh, I guess we'll see. We're just chilling in Tokyo right now. Nothing else to it. But yeah. Guys, right, check this out. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. We are in Asakusa, Tokyo. Ueno, I mean, we are in Ueno. Uh, took the train about 30-ish minutes to Ueno, and we're about to go to this famous temple. It's that far away, and I don't have a lot of space, so I'll just let you guys know uh, when I'm there. Yeah, this is what it looks like right now. There's a big uh, Tori gate behind us for um, a big bell correction. And we're just about to go there, so let's do it. I totally forgot to film this place. Look at this place. This place is huge. Huge with the culture. I 
think I've ever been over here, so I'm gonna go check it out over here, guys. Look at this shrine over here, or this house, bro. Wow. Yeah, look, the Tory gates and everything. Oh, check this out, guys. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty dope. Saksa Shrine. So we're going to this area over here that I found. It's pretty dope. Before we do, I found this place. So I don't know where this place is. It's probably some sort of restaurant area, but we're gonna find out, I guess. My friend went to go find the sky tree. Um, I don't know what happened about that. I think I have to plan in advance, so I don't know. Dude, look at that building over there, bro. Crazy. Culture shock. All right, we're, we're gonna go up there, guys. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh yeah, this is where the restaurants are. Yeah, Zaka, so. I've actually been to one of those restaurants last time I went. Who's this? <laughs> oh, they're dogs. What is this? Is this like offerings? I'm feeling like an anime. <laughs> Dude, we are an anime, anime literally. Chippy anime. Dude, we're like in a. I don't even know. Some sort of like. <laughs> Someone's apartment's right there. What does this say? Huh? Oh, it's in Japanese. I can't even. That's a lot of kanji. Wow. What, what does it say? Uh, katakana. Oh. Bruh. All this katakana and, 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 sh and stuff makes me want to do some karaoke. <laughs>
pretty much wraps up today and it wraps up our vlog. Uh, thank you so much for watching our Tokyo vlogs. Um, I'm at the train station uh, in Akihabara. It's sad to go, but uh, we're going to be going again soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Yeah. Good morning. I had to say goodbye. You know? I had to go say goodbye to my favorite country. But no way, this guy has to fly because it's Trump 24. Crazy. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. This is my last day in Tokyo. I'll be back soon. Um, until then, it's good not to the airport. Four minutes left, and I can't open it until this is done. So, it's been some time since I've been back to America, but it's been a really good vlog. I'm at Narita Airport, and um, I guess we gotta find our flight. So, let's do it. Hello everyone, Future Me here. I want to thank everyone for watching this series. It took me a really long time. It took about a year to edit and produce. I want to say a great thank you to the people I met along the way, as well as a huge thanks and support on the last episodes as well. As you all know, I traveled to Japan in March for the first time last year, and it was a dream come true. I saved up more money to go in August for around 18 days and funded the trip for my DJ job and other part-time jobs. The experience was amazing, but also editing the vlogs and producing the whole series, A Gaijin in Japan, it was a truly a blast from the past, and a huge nostalgia trip. Currently, right now, I'm in college, second year in college, and wanted to travel again with my brand new GoPro Hero 12, and my new professional equipment that I purchased in Hawaii. Um, the films in Hawaii will come out soon. Hopefully we can fund Japan Trip 3 uh, someday. It's in the books, and still trying to figure it all out. Um, but for now, thank you all so much for watching the series. It took a really long time to produce film, and overall, it was a really good series. So thank you all so much for watching this last episode and staying along the way. And I'm glad to um, show my experiences I've had in my dream country, uh, Japan. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all the next one.